to show you how to install the new 24 pound thrust skimmer on a native watercraft manta ray 14 foot long. You can see the back here, this is before we do our installation. All right. first thing we're going to do is measure our wide plate and we can see it's coming over a little too far so in this particular case we're just going to cut it so it fits a little bit better this material that we're working with is marine board very easy to cut we line up and we mark our board exactly where we want our holes to go. Using a 3 8 inch drill bit, we're going to make our holes right where we walk, right where we marked. After the two holes are drilled, we mark the place where we're going to drill into the kayak. Using a half inch drill bit now, we have our places marked, we're going to drill into the kayak. Taking our toggle bolt, since this has no, we've drilled our holes, we can easily fit our toggle bolt into the hole, adjust it so it fits snugly, and pull down as tight as it goes the band. And then we just snap this off. Same thing on this side. Put it in. Pull it back down. And then snap these off. Now you have your two holes ready to accept the bolts. Then we line up our holes. We take our bolts, stainless steel bolts that come with this kit, put it in the hole and start your start screwing it in. Now this is screwed into this kayak, it's not going to go anywhere. The handle out and reinstall it on the plate and we're going to do that right now. First thing we do is we mark where we want to have it. And then using a quarter inch drill bit, which is drill the two holes. Using the same handle, we drill the two holes. Now we take a one and a quarter inch stainless steel bolt, put it through the hole, get another washer, 
and a wing nut. And just reach under here and screw it tight. And screw it tight. Now you have your handle. It's going to carry this Manta Ray 14 very easily. That's it for the installation of this plate on the native watercraft Manta Ray 14.